What's going on guys? I have a really cool deck profile for y'all today. This is the new Illusion branded Chimera, whatever you want to call it. Let's start off with the main deck. I actually took this deck to locals. I played a slightly different list, but this is the list that I think would probably work best going forward. Three, Nightmare Apprentice, the new card out of Legacy of Destruction. This is a starter. It's a two card starter though because it does require a discard. Um, Kotal, this is a one card starter. Mirror Swords Knight, one card starter. Typically, this is going to get you to this and this. Just depends on what your hand is like. So many options. This deck's not linear at all. This guy right here, there's times where it's a starter. There's times where it's an extender. It just depends. This guy right here, he's kind of a brick. Um, but luckily with this build, you can uh, normal summon. Like if you tribute, if you special this and then tribute over this. And then uh, we're going to play one of Master Tau. The Enchanter, which is a really great card. It's a basically a uh, something you send, and then you can revive any of your illusion monsters. Really cool. Uh, and then three of the Chimera Fusion. This is it for your illusion package. So it's going to be four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 card engine. Pretty small, but very powerful. Um. <clears throat> Your options with this, so if you don't have three of the Nightmare Apprentice, I know it's kind of an expensive card. The build will work without it. Um, this card, sometimes it feels great, sometimes it doesn't. So uh, I'm still a little unsure about it. It's definitely a great card, and if you're playing this, you should play at least some copies of it. Now for our next engine, the Fright Fur Patchwork engine. This is just, I mean, it's really good. Helps you extend it, gives you another name for Polly. Also baits, ash, baits, a lot of things. But you can get drolled. This deck plays in a droll. We all know if you play this deck, this thing, this deck loses the two things. Shifter and droll. It just kills the deck. Um, there are hands where you can make Dragoon through Shifter. Um, or you can still make Dragoon through Droll. But, you know, you can't always do that. So our next engine is going to be the Branded engine. We're going to go three Branded Fusion, one Fallen of Albaz. One light Hexel uh, Fusion. I cut down Albaz to one. Um, going forward, I might will play two. Um, this it's a good card overall, but there's a lot of hands where I would draw this and this and that did, or not, I say a lot, but vice versa. I would draw one or the other, and I think one time I actually drew both, and that really didn't feel good. But that's it for our sub engines. And basically, there's times where you go through all your plays, they stop that, you slap Brand of Fusion down, and you just win literally because of that especially if you bring out dragoon and then you just have follow-up for days um plus you have an omni gate now after you've expended a lot of the resources um that's good and then we have for our spells three super poly um sometimes it's really good sometimes it's not next two talents i don't think i even saw this once or resolved it once i'm i can't remember but it's still a great card if you get the chance to, you know, if you get drolled, a hand rip's nice. And there's a lot of times under draw you can hand rip for another one. So hand ripping for two with, you know, your negates live, that's better than nothing a lot of times. And then we'll play one call by the grave. This card does come up. Came up one time, I got drolled, and then they changed roll to the call by. It was amazing um, for them, of course. Um, for our non engine, two ash, two droll. And three empires. So going forward, I would definitely side cross out. And in matchups where Super Poly was a bad card or Talents wasn't that great, I would side that out and maybe side out um, one of these, you know, just to make room. Uh, because Ash kills this deck. Doesn't kill it, it just hurts it. Draw kills it. Um, kills what you're trying to do. And then Empire also is a really... So I may would even sub out one of these Empires for Valor. Um, or maybe just find somewhere else to fit that. But I would always play two targets just in case you draw the one of and then your cross out's dead. That really sucks. So let's move on to the extra deck. But Droll is really good this format. I know a lot of people would argue that. But a lot of people are playing not necessarily rogue decks, but it's pretty diverse at the moment. Um, the top end, it's top heavy, but it's still pretty diverse. For our extra deck, we're going to be playing one Chaos Angel. I don't think this came up once. Um, it can be made with Mirror Swords Knight and the Illusion, I mean the Nightmare Apprentice. 
and then it's properly made. So really good card when it's good. So there's that. We're gonna be playing one Lubelion, the Searing Dragon. One Albion, the Branded Dragon. These are all self-explanatory if you've ever played Branded. We're gonna be playing Mirror Jade. Great card, self-explanatory. Renbrum for when you need to get a starter uh, to your Chimera Engine. This is the bridge to the Chimera Engine. Super Poly Targets, we're gonna be playing Garura. Pretty Plant, Dragon Dispelia. And we're gonna be playing Mud Dragon, of course. Next, um, we're gonna be playing one Magnum, the Reliever, and and then our Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. That's technically part of the branded package. Now for our Chimera stuff, let me show you this. Uh, Magnum Reliever is a really good card. Like, it is really good. Um, Chaos Angel, I'd probably cut it. I felt myself needing a Typhon at times, or even, um, maybe even a Unchained Soul of Yama. Maybe, I, I don't know. Can't really decide yet. A lot of times you are fusion lock, so might as well just play another fusion, another Guardian Chimera. Okay, our big OTK guy, Chimera the Illusion Beast. Guardian Chimera, it's not technically a Chimera card, but it says Chimera on it, so it's a pop two, draw one, draw one, I mean pop one, draw two, whatever you need. Two Chimera the Phantom Beasts. I think this is correct. You could play one or the other and maybe add another one of these over the Chaos Angel, but at the same time, it could come up. Um, but this guy is a hand rip. This guy is a dump. And they both interchangeably get each other back. So I would actually run this one. That way, um, there's times you can do other plays. Like this one gets this one out of the grave and then this one in turn gets this one out of the banished pile so it's like they just recycle each other so you, i could see a place for two in a grind match but i feel like this would be a better uh at two but it is expensive so you know if you can't get this one run two of these and that's what i would say or maybe even a typhon it's just up to you but that's it for it guys the deck's really good it's still not quite at the top level yet until we get some new support Having a lot of success in the OCG, but I think the deck has a lot of potential, and it's really fun, and it's a capable deck. Um, like if your if your uh, opponent's sitting there with no hand traps, it's probably going to be a bad day for him um, because this deck typically loses uh, to the hand traps, not to uh, them breaking through your board. Um, there are cases where some decks just have a lot of gas and can break through your board, but in most cases, um, this is. Very sufficient. Lots of stuff to do. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.